Monday, Sean Payton confirmed Jameis Winston does have a torn ACL. He's out for the season. The NFL trade deadline is Tuesday. Payton said he is happy with his current quarterback room. That means these three guys will be the Saints quarterbacks, although rookie Ian Book will not be starting. It's one of these two guys, and Payton wouldn't tip his hand. The who's starting mystery is an advantage that Payton will have for at least one week. He wants to play that advantage, and it's a shame for Jameis Winston, who had done so many good things in seven games. He and Sean Payton seem to be finding a nice groove together. And Winston is a fun, energetic, positive guy. It just sticks. Now, we'll get to the big picture in a minute. But let's start our four takeaways with the Deontay difference. Without Deontay Harris and Taysom Hill, the Saints offense struggled in Seattle with Harris back Sunday. It changed. Deontay Harris had seven total touches for 138 yards. His 22-yard reverse on the go-ahead drive might have been the biggest offensive play of the game. Harris is a unique weapon that defenses have to overplay. Getting him back made an enormous difference. And along the same lines, Mark Ingram clearly has something left in the tank. He had eight touches for 52 yards, took a lot of the pounding off Alvin Kamara. That looks like a great trade. At number three, the real difference in this game was turnovers. The Saints were plus three Sunday. Bruce Arians took the Tampa Bay job in 2019. In five regular season games now against Sean Payton, Arians' Bucks have committed 13 turnovers. The Saints have committed three. That's plus 10 for New Orleans. The Saints 5-0 and in those five games. In the playoff loss, the Saints committed four turnovers, got none. Turnovers have been the difference in this series. And since 2019, this was the eighth game in which the Saints were plus three or better in turnover margin. They're 8-0 and in those games. That's not a surprise. In 39 games over the last three seasons, the Saints have won the turnover battle 18 times, lost it just nine times, even in turnovers 12 times. When even in turnovers, the Saints are 7-5. and five. When they lose the turnover battle, they're a surprising 6-3. and three. And in the 18 games when they win the turnover battle, the Saints are 17 and one. That is the surest marker for Saints success. The point is, even when they don't win the turnover battle, the Saints are pretty good, but when they do win it, they're great. At number two, the other huge statistical difference, the Bucs spent half the game in the penalty box. On some of the flags, the Saints got lucky. A bad Trevor Simeon interception got wiped away by a flag, but a lot of it was the Bucs being an undisciplined mess. The Saints were flagged twice in this game for just 10 yards. The Bucks picked up 11 penalties for 99 yards, which led to an incredible six first downs by penalty for the Saints by far the most this season. And at number one, I guess the 2021 season is just going to be defined by the great unknown. It's weekly. Now, it's who is the quarterback. And still, it's when is Mike Thomas returning? The injuries to frontline guys has been dizzying. We've had five different kickers. Three of them were number six. And how does the offense now change without Jameis Winston? The one known on this team is the Saints defense. Football Outsiders has this complicated system for evaluating NFL defenses. They have the Saints right now as the third best defense overall. The point is, with a backup quarterback and no Mike Thomas, the Saints beat the world champs, who were playing great at the time, by nine. Sean Payton thrives in the unknown, and he's got a great defense. I think the Saints are definitely a playoff team, and maybe possibly more. And that is my number one takeaway from the Saints beating the Bucs.